Chicken Soup for the Writer's Soul, compiled by Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, and Bud Gardner, is a 2000 book dedicated to inspirational stories of writer experiences. The book contains short stories from a wide selection of writers. They are organised by themes. The remaining of the short review will summarise those themes, as well as select excerpts. Many successful writers started somewhere, and were inspired by something or someone. Get stuck into it. Don't worry about where you'll end up. You may end up nowhere. No man can hope to control his destiny. The best he can hope for is to control himself. One single act at a time. Those acts are like bricks in a wall. A wall made of such bricks is a man's character. Writing is about getting our experiences onto paper. It's about explaining the feelings we have about these moments. Because a single word doesn't fulfill the requirement to understand those feelings. Writers do their work so that understandings can be passed down generations, as well as passed around the world. Write what you believe. While there are times your voice may not be heard, it's better to have said something. Write from experience and write about moments that hurt. In any profession, to be mentored and to mentor are vital to remain relevant. Mentoring can come from critics and readers. At times it can be best to give new things a try and to change when given advice. It pays to refresh over skills already learned. Give back to your mentors. Let your mentors inspire hope in you. Write to make a political and emotional difference, to promote awareness for others. Write to make a difference for yourself, for catharsis, and to set yourself free. Write through illness and bad times. Write against the advice from poor critics. If you're a poor writer, then read more and write more. Be your own measuring stick. Use your critics as a driver to write in spite. Make sure to be innovative in skills beyond writing. You need to be able to sell yourself to publishers. Writing informational articles is useful for readers. Give them the knowledge you have gained in a summarised form. Gather stories from your life, even little ones. Take joy in the cell and appreciate all the work it took. Juggling work and life is difficult. Working between distractions is necessary. The most important ingredient to being a writer is bum glue. If you can't get a publisher, self-publish. Write without ending. Give your characters motivation, something to fight for, and make them complicated. Write out of love. We all carry stories of change in us. These stories need to be written and shared. Avoid burnout. Take time to rest. To sum it all up, if you want to write, if you want to create, you must be the most sublime fool that God ever turned out and sent rambling. You must write every single day of your life. You must dread you must read dreadful, dumb books and glorious books and let them wrestle in beautiful fights inside your head. Vulgar one moment, brilliant the next. You must lurk in libraries and climb the stacks like ladders to snuff books like perfumes and wear books like hats upon your crazy heads. I wish for you, to, for you a, re a wrestling match with your creative mu muse that will last a lifetime. I wish craziness and foolishness and madness upon you. May you live with hysteria and out of it make fine stories. Which finally means, may you be in love every day for the next 20,000 days. And out of that love, remake a world. In conclusion, I found this book to be motivating and inspiring. Its stories are short enough to consume in quick bursts, and varied enough to be enjoyable at whatever point a writer finds themselves in their journey. The stories this book contains deserve a read. I don't know about you, but I feel well fed.